what we thought was an opportunity to uh, to give somebody a second chance um, was clearly not acceptable. And, and Hamilton Tiger Cat CEO Scott Mitchell was backtracking big time today. There's Art Bryles. Just yesterday, the team hired disgraced head coach Art Bryles. He was fired from an American University football program last year, according to a lawsuit filed earlier this year by a former Baylor University student under his leadership between 2011 and 2014. At least 52 acts of rape were committed by 31 different players, including five gang rapes. It also alleges Bryles and his staff knew about it, covered it up, and interfered with police investigations. Clearly the timing was, was, uh, was inappropriate. Um, I think that uh, um, it was a poor decision. And many agreed. The backlash was swift. Fans and sponsors began pulling their support. The CFL made the decision to intervene and Bryles was out. Ticats owner Bob Young sent out this statement this morning saying, we made a large and serious mistake. We want to apologize to our fans, corporate partners, and the Canadian Football League. Newly appointed coach June Jones wouldn't talk about it directly. Well, Art and I have been friends for 40 years, and uh, just uh, you know, thinking it all through right to today, it, this, this is really an emotional thing for me. Cats are last. In Jones did say these types of things can bring a team closer together even called it a rallying point in the locker room. Touchdown, Tiger Cats! The director of this sexual assault center in Hamilton is worried the coach's words are doing more harm. I wonder if, if he's setting the right example or taking it seriously around the ending of rape culture within sports. Bryles has maintained all along that while there was wrongdoing under his tenure at Baylor University, he personally did not do anything wrong. Devin Haru, CBC News, Toronto.